Yo, what is poppin', ladies and gents? It's your boy, Step Brian, back here again with another an Ordinary Reaction. Bro, bro, it's been two weeks. Actually, yeah, it's been two weeks. Or it's been a week. Whatever, it's been a week. It's been a whole week, bro. I literally forgot what I read the chapter before this. I don't even know what chapter we're on right now. What chapter is this? 218? 219? It was one of them, bro. It's one of them. I don't know. I don't care. Because we're about to hop into this, but either way, do me a favor, just click the like and subscribe button. You already know the vibes, the analytics on the screen, all that. Comment down below, like, helps with the algorithm, check out my videos. I will have videos posted throughout this, within the cards, of course, like you're going to see it in the right top corner somewhere. But keep a lookout for those, do me a favor, click those, check those out if you're interested. So, other than all that, let's hop into this. Hmm, how about this? Why don't you tell me about the first thing you plan to do once you've recovered? Oh, the first thing she plans to do once she, <laughs> once she recovers, she about to go, uh, you know, pull up on Jonathan real quick. Be like, hey, man, I know we, uh, I know we haven't seen eye to eye as of late, but I want you to know. <laughs> I don't know, bro. She's gonna say some shit, but here we are. There's someone I know. Oh shit, Step Brown was correct. Who's very lost right now? He's a, a word. Then why don't you just help him, like, find what the fuck he's looking for, bro? Give him a compass, some shit. He's lashing out at everyone around him. Damn, he beating people up? He taking a belt and smacking people like a whip and shit? And he doesn't realize how much he's hurting himself. What the fuck is he getting in the recoil? I want to help him. Well, you might as well help him by taking away whatever the fuck is hurting him, right? <sighs> Wilson's boy's dorm. Oh shit, you already know the sign, whatever. Uh, yo, every time we see John sitting on his goddamn bed, bro, why is he always sitting on the bed with a towel over his neck? It's like, as soon as, like, it's always after he comes out of the shower or before he goes into the shower. Clench. The safe house is here now. The royals have made their mistakes and learned. What more do you want? These, those idiots didn't learn shit. They made that place, they made that place as, as a farce. Because they can't handle the fact that they're not at the top anymore. I want everybody to remember that. John thinks this way obviously because he feels betrayed. But the second part is, is that Zeke got into his head. So it's not all on him. Zeke did say that um, they're all trying to gang up against him. So what do you get when you freaking tell somebody who's already mentally pushed into a corner. And like they're already like uh, what's the word. They're already uh, pretty much separated from society, I guess is the best way to put it. Socially, they have nobody they can rely on. This is what's going to happen. They're already going to be even more... Um, what's that word, bro? Freaking... Uh, hostile. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. I couldn't think of it. I don't know why. They're already going to be hostile. And he already was hostile. So, they just made him more... Made... Yo, bro. I like how they made Aizen look evil as shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, right. I forgot Black's eyes are fucking yellow. Those assholes only care about satisfying their own egos. They're all self-centered pieces of shit. Remy and Aizen and and Arlo. Well, Arlo, yeah, I think so too. Cause I was like Remy, she she's like naive as shit, and she's also like she doesn't give a fuck, bro. She only gave it a fuck after like it was brought to light. Cause like if she really gave a shit, bro, she would have tried to keep what her brother brought to the school alive. If you really think about it, but she didn't. She just stayed in her freaking classroom and like was worrying about her own issues. She didn't give a shit. So here we are. Cause I'm always, cause like you gotta remember, like the only reason everybody's like, oh man, John this, John that, all that stuff. We talk about the fans specifically right here. Is because uh, Uruchan's pretty much just making it so she's trying to make it that we have this horrible outlook on John, so we just have, so we reside more with the freaking other characters. That's just what it looks. Like. That's what it is. That's literally what it is. It's not what it looks like. That's what it is. But yeah, that's, I just want to always explain that. That's if you feel some way, type of way about John, just think about it. That she's doing this on purpose. Obviously, I don't think it serves too much of a purpose bringing him down to this point because I don't think he would have been like this if, like, you know, everything carried out and she just like she could have found a different way. I, personally, I feel to make us fall for the characters. But hey, hey guys, what the fuck like do I know? Right? I'm just some guy on the internet. The ha yeah, that oh god, they made a safe house just to spite me and filled it with those liars and cowards. Trash people who've been nothing but ba but shit in the past. I was about to say bullshit because I thought that shit said bullshit, but it didn't. And yet, for some fucking reason, this is the last chance I'm giving you. Do not attack the safe house again. Is that clear? How about you start facing your problems? Instead of vilifying all the people around you. 
I'm the wrong one. I'm the one who's supposed to change. He did change. That's the pro. He did change. He changed twice, and they and they're like, either way, bro, it doesn't matter. Oh my god, bro. Yo, I'm having such a hard ass time reading because my glasses. <laughs> They snapped in half earlier this week, bro. They snapped in half on Monday. I was cleaning them shits. I woke up. I'm trying to clean my glasses, and then I and then they fucking snap in half. And now I'm holding these bitches together with duct tape, and I'm not gonna have new glasses until like freaking end of the month. So now I'm tight. So this is gonna be unfortunate. So here we are. You know, Step Brian really out here reading blind. But actually, well, I'm reading with glasses on. But these shits are so stupid. So see, we ain't seen her in a in a fat minute, bro. Fat minute. That's all for today. I'll sh I'll see everyone tomorrow. Remember to, pre to prepare articles. Oh my god, they fucking broke already. Ugh, fuck me. Bro, hold the fuck up. Uh, okay, here we are. Bro, <laughs> the freaking tape separated. You guys can't see it because obviously no fucking camera, but like, yeah. This shit's separated. Remember to prepare three articles for review. Got it. See you later, Cecile. Man, I'm really having like <laughs> technical difficulties, but it's not even technical. It's more like freaking physical, metaphysical, all that. Yeah, I have a few in mind. Oh, hey, Eisen. Haven't seen you around in a while. Hey, come back soon. We miss you. Isn't he like freaking banished from that shit? Yeah. Eisen, I didn't expect to see you here. Hello. I recall John banned you from entering this place. This would be pretty important if you decided to come here on your own. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about this article you published last week. John has declared all safe house members enemies of the school. What about it? Well, you see, we... Oh, she already has an article written up. I can't see what that shit says backwards, but I'm not trying to turn my computer upside down. She got another... Un Wait, what? Well, she got another attack lined up for us? Why are you... Hey, Cecile, I forgot to put my name on the paper. On my paper. Eisen? Don't mind me, I'm just looking for my- <laughs> Bro, he's so pussy, he really hiding, bro. He was like- Cause remember, I didn't John say the last time he- The next time he sees him around here, he's gonna break his legs or some shit. Man, really about to turn him into a broken fucking toothpick. Toothpick. Okay. I'll make the note. You go ahead. Alright, thanks. Phew. It's fine, he's already stopped by this morning. He won't be coming anytime soon. Anyway, what was it you wanted to say? Your recent articles, why have you been targeting the safe house so much? What do you fucking mean? Why? It's obvious, why? <laughs> Don't take it to heart. It's nothing personal, alright? I know, but these aren't even your words. Cecile, what are you thinking? This isn't your style at all. Don't worry about it. Have you forgotten who you are? He's really just trying to be like, hey, join our side. <laughs> You're, pr you're the press lead. He's really just trying to turn Cecilia to him, bro. She's about to be like, you're really about to get my ass beat. <laughs> That's really what's gonna happen. Unbiased, unwavering. You don't bend to anyone. Yeah, that was until she met John, the fucking, the most powerful person. Look, you don't understand. John is ruthless. Oh, of course I understand. He's beating my ass three times already. And you're still trying to freaking tell people what to do? <laughs> you think that you, you, bro, you think they want to end up in the hospital as well? Look, I know you wanted to dethrone Arlo because he didn't let you publish what you wanted. But maybe look at your current situation. You write anything John tells you to. You're like his damn puppet. Quiet, Eisen. <laughs> fucking glasses, bro. These shits keep coming out. I might fucking have to pause this bitch and just like do that, but I'm not trying to edit. So, well, edit that anyway. Edit in a second half. <sighs> Tell me I'm wrong. Because even... Wait, what? Even know... Do you even... Oh, my bad. Do you even know what his plan is anymore? Do you really want to continue following someone who's who has absolutely no direction? If you're not in the position to tell me... Wait, what? If you're not in the position to tell me who I should follow... Fine. But I don't like seeing you produce this kind of cheap-ass content. Oh, shit. Oh shit, she came after your fucking content. Hey guys, content creators, you, like you fucking Please unite, sure bro. I know I know I ran the press like an idiot, but you're different. You're way better than this. This bullshit propaganda pulling up with the North Korean shit. Sorry. I'll show myself out. <sighs> Honestly, bro, this chapter's such a drag. I waited a week for this. Fuck me. <laughs> 
Uh, unfortunate. I mean, Cecile is obviously gonna like turn on John eventually, though. You can already see how this shit is shaping out to be. Everybody's gonna turn on John. Only person is gonna be in his corner is Zeke, but he's superficial, so. She's looking at everything that he done. We already know what we see. The back, the freaking uh, flashbacks. Seen enough of those. No thanks. Yeah, this is just like a fucking like light, igniting the dynamite right now. Arlo. Hey Arlo. And they have like the freaking line all over around the school just waiting for that shit to freaking blow up. I heard you rejoined the safe house yesterday. News travels fast. Oh yeah, everyone's been talking about it. Remy was in a pretty good mood this morning. A lot of students decided to give the club another chance. After they found out you were coming back. After that you were coming back. So yeah, thanks. What about you? You okay? I heard you got roughed up last week. Uh yeah, Doc fixed me up pretty quick. Man, what the fuck does Doc use to freaking heal people so fast? How the f man, we need some we need Doc in our world, bro. I need Doc I need Doc on a regular basis. Help me fix my back and my knee. <laughs> Old injuries. But I've been to the infirmary so many times already. I think he's getting sick of seeing me. Obviously. <clears throat> Doc doesn't want to see anybody in this goddamn infirmary. You should have got this shit from the first time you saw Doc. Can't blame him though. I bet he's stressed as hell. I have no idea how he hasn't given up on us yet. Alright. I'm gonna head to class. See, I'll see you around. Yeah. John just rock walking around the school chilling. Hey, did you know Arlo rejoined the safe house? Oh, wow. <laughs> really? I thought he didn't care about that place. He does now, apparently. Do you think there's something, some kind of meaning behind it? Like, could this be some kind of move against John? The timing is, per is pretty convenient, right? We all know that John hates the safe house. But then Arlo swoops in and helps it at the lowest point. Man. <laughs> Act. Oh no, it's him. Do you think he heard us? No fucking shit. You were talking louder than my freaking. You were talking louder than me holding a megaphone. Do these people like not look around? Do they have like not pay attention to their surroundings? It doesn't make sense to me. Arlo. What the fuck are you planning this time? And I have to take these fucking glasses off, though. This just got me upset. I took them off a little bit too freaking late because now it doesn't even matter. Alright, so that is the end of the chapter. Nothing fucking happened. Nothing happened. Literally nothing. I don't give a damn, bro. This chapter, nothing happened. I've been waiting so goddamn long. No wonder the views are going going down. No wonder the views are going down on my videos. Nobody want to watch it. Nobody want to read this. <laughs> People come to these videos because they want to say, you know what, bro? I just want to hear Steph read it to me. I'm too bored. I'm too tired to read this. I'm too bored to read this by myself. So here we are. Here we are. I'm reading it for you. So hopefully... You enjoyed the commentary. Do not forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. If you needed this to help you go to sleep, uh, I'm glad I helped you out. So, talk to you guys next time. Peace out.